How's it going YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Sick Eric TV and today I'm going to be showing you three different types of microphones that are affordable and that will give you better audio for your YouTube videos or whatever you know type of vlogging videos that you do and uh, for me I like to stay on a budget. Um, YouTube's not my you know full-time job so I like to find good deals on you know equipment and not everybody has hundreds of dollars to spend on high-end cameras or microphones so i'm going to show you three different microphones that you could get on a budget all of these microphones are relatively cheap uh, we got a lavalier type mic uh, we also got like a directional mic and also be doing a little bit of a review on a condenser mic that i got coming and that we're gonna check out as well and i'm gonna show you the differences between all of these between all of these microphones so say your videos sound like this, you know, you don't have a microphone, external microphone connected to your device. Like for right now, uh, there is no mic connected to the note that I'm filming this on and your vine, your audio sounds okay. It's not the best. It's not anything special, but you want to get that from sounding, you know, something like this to sounding something like this, which is a little bit more personal uh, you could hear me very very clearly uh, it is loud I don't have to talk loud you know and for something like this you know it's pretty cheap to go from sounding before it did before which was not that great to sounding a little bit better now I'm not here to give you like studio quality sound or anything this is you know affordable microphones that you could get and easily and that are affordable but will still work really well this will improve the sound of your videos so right now we are using the lavalier mic and this is how it sounds you don't have to talk too loud cool thing about these types of mics is that you know they do give you more of a uh, sound coming from you which is really nice now i'm not an audio expert or anything so don't criticize me on this video but you are, you know, bound by a wire and you could get like an adapter. Like for me, I got a uh, USB type C to a 3.5 millimeter six foot adapter extension cord. And you could get something like that off of Amazon too. That way you could actually, you know, get up and move around without having to be tethered to, you know, with a wire to your device. So now with something like an adapter a little bit further away from your camera. So I could stand up and I could pretty much be way all the way over here and you could still pretty much hear me just fine so i don't have to yell at the camera and you know it allows you to be a little bit further away from your cameras i go off camera over here and you can still hear me just fine so yeah an adapter or an extension like this one works really well if you want to get some distance away from your camera and you don't have to be so up close to it you know with the uh, shorter cable that the microphone is now another type of mic that you could use that gives you a little bit more freedom and allows you to be a little bit further away from your camera is something like a directional mic which is this is what I'm using right here and this one of course pretty cheap off of Amazon I'll post the links later on in the video that way you guys can get an idea of how much these are but these are very very affordable uh, equipment so they're not going to break the bank you don't have to pay hundreds of dollars just to get decent audio for your video. Um, for me, I think, you know, I don't spend a lot of money on my equipment. It's more about the content. You could have the best camera, the best microphones, but your content, if it sucks, then it's really not worth it. So it's all about the content. You could have really good content and have really bad video or audio. It's still going to do pretty good. So keep that in mind. So directional mic right here more like a shotgun mic you could put this pretty much on your desk and for me i have it mounted to an arm and just point it at yourself and get some really good audio and this allows you to go a little bit further away so if i point this at me right here you can still hear me pretty good i think and it allows you to have a little bit more freedom with that as far as audio goes and then of course you know you could get up a little bit up close and you could actually talk to it and it will sound a little bit better so a little bit more intimate uh, sounding right here with the directional mic now keep in mind that most of these microphones do have a uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack or 
a connector right here so you would need some sort of a dongle to use all of these and for me i have several different ones like this one is from lg and then i also got one from google which was like 12 or 14 dollars at best buy so pretty inexpensive adapters you're going to need a usb type c two 3.5 mil adapter all right so the mic we're going to be taking a look at today which i just got is by evator and this is a very inexpensive mic that you could get off of Amazon. Professional microphone works on mobile, tablets, laptop, and PC. And we're gonna check it out. That way you guys can see or hear how this sounds. And this is all that you get in the box. You get some nice cards in here. You get your instruction manual. Very, very nice. Pause that if you want to read it. You get all your accessories in here that you need to get started right out of the box. You got yourself a little wind guard, full mesh. So very, very nice. Uh, you also get another guard right here, a little foam guard to put over the mic. And here is your holder for your microphone. You get some rings on here, which I don't know what these are for. Okay, so these are for the uh, shock absorbers. The mic sort of just goes in there like so. And this is to hold your uh, guard on like so. And this is necessary when you want to use this sort of microphone apparently, unless you get another adapter. So I am quite concerned about this, you know, lasting long. Might have to buy another one if this does not work, but it does have two connections, one for headphones and one for your microphone. I try. And here is the mic. You do have an off and on switch. Very nice construction made out of aluminum. There we go. And it does come with a tripod as well, but it does come with a nice tripod that way you can mount this on your desktop and uh, record video. And finally, you do get your uh, cable right here. It connects to the mic and then your 3.5 mil uh, adapter. So we're gonna test this out and i'm going to show you guys how this microphone sounds and then give you guys the prices of all of these mics that you could get very very cheap and that are very affordable and let you guys determine which one you like the best all right guys so this is audio coming from the new microphone how does this sound now unfortunately uh, i was not able to mount this on to my arm since the uh, mount that this has is proprietary for this tripod so right now it's just on the tripod sitting on a desk and i went ahead and put the uh, foam cover on there so let me know how this sounds does it sound any better than the other microphones we tried out today and uh, which was the lavalier mic which now we're going to get down to prices of all of these microphones 1727 off of amazon i believe when i got it back in 2019 it might have been a little cheaper but still very affordable for a lavalier mic. The shotgun mic is going for about $35.95, but I could have swore this was a little bit cheaper when I got it. I believe it was last year as well. It comes with all the accessories, your dead cat, everything that you need for this microphone, all your needed cables and everything come in the box for this shotgun mic, which still works really well. And I use this thing every day. And for the new mic that we got from Vivator, and this mic only costs $22.49. So is the audio good for a microphone that costs $22? Let me know. This is the audio coming from this microphone. And uh, I'm trying to see if I can get a little bit further away. Can you guys hear me or not? And uh, this comes with all the stuff needed in the box, of course, your adapter. It would probably work better if you had a phone with a headphone jack. Uh, then you won't have to use as many adapters. This might work a little bit better, but as we all know, headphone jacks are going. So you would have to use that USB type C uh, adapter to 3.5 mil adapter for all of these microphones. Unfortunately, unless like I said, you have a headphone jack on your device. So yeah, audio coming from the new mic. How does that sound? How does it look? So far, I think the microphone looks pretty good and the sound quality well, we're going to determine that in a little bit. I have not heard how this microphone sounds. This is going to be a first for me, so we'll find this out in the editing of this video. 
But with that being said, guys, all of these microphones, very affordable. That way you guys can go check them out. Audio can be important for your videos. That way they get very, you know, you can understand what the person is saying. You don't have a whole bunch of background noise or it's muffled or low. But still, it all depends on the content. Like I said before, you have good content, you're good to go. Your camera, your quality, and your audio, um, they could all be really good. And like I said, I'm not here to give you studio quality audio here, but I'm here to show you audio that is decent for your channel that you can get away with. And it is still really good compared to audio coming just from your device that you're using to record. All of these make a huge difference as far as audio quality and uh, being able to record nice videos. All of these microphones will do the job just fine. And like I said, they're all on a budget. So you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a nice experience on YouTube or wherever you're doing video. So with that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did, thumbs down if you didn't, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.